part four, software. To manage the information across the exchanges, we need to be far more consistent in specifying, delivering and checking it. Therefore, what we need is an information layer across the industry where unstructured and structured information can live together and gives us the rules for specifying, delivering and checking it. And that doesn't matter if it's on a capital works project or for an annual lift inspection. But there's a barrier, us and the way we think. As humans, we relate to things far better if we can see them, if it's tangible. Which is why when it comes to information, we think of the software first, which we can see above the information itself. But information is its own thing and doesn't rely on software applications to define it. They just help to process it. As a result, what we tend to see are requirements and strategies built around the software, where EIRs are based around proprietary software, not universal requirements. So unless you use that particular software, you can't even bid for the job. Software should serve the information, not dominate it. These software applications have their own languages and rules, which are made up ad hoc and sometimes not fit for purpose. They themselves are mini information silos, bring several together like on a project and they struggle to share the information between them. And this is why we have such problems with interoperability. Everything is used in its own information layer rather than just a common one. So the sticky plaster approach we focus on more peer-to-peer -peer solutions, where each exchange is a tailored solution between every permutation of software. Even then, the data will end up in different places. Managing all these permutations isn't sustainable, and we're not looking at the bigger picture. APIs and add-ins do not solve this. They only initiate the exchange without files. You still need a base standard to exchange data in a consistent way. Even if you have platforms that claim to open every file format under the sun, how do they know where to find specific data and what the relationships are to start to make sense of it? As a result, we're seeing clients more and more specify one type of software to be used through the entire delivery stage and then in use, which is ridiculous because one software cannot do everything. We force the supply chain into using one application, which will only be adequate for a select number of activities, and you'll always need that application to access the information because the language and format is proprietary. So the information ecosystem becomes closed off from anything else and you're at the mercy of the vendors. The facility will probably outlive the software and there is no guarantee that the software in the future will be able to open the older data sets. And this is really bad news for our industry. But what if we turn it on its head, flip it around and change the way we currently think? The software should plug in and serve the information, not the other way around, allowing us to access information regardless of the software used. Therefore, we put the information layer first and open it up so it's freely accessible to anyone who wants to use it, resulting in one information layer which contains all the structures, rules and language to provide consistency across industry. Software changes, it comes and goes, but the information needs to remain intact for many years. This is why software fixes alone cannot solve this interoperability problem. We need a far more sustainable solution. To do this in a consistent way across specify, deliver and check, we need to start with an industry standard, which will give us a framework for managing the information. It's called Industry Foundation Classes or IFC.